those steel belts showing and they have to be at least two thirty seconds of tread depth right uh, between my tires my bud spacing make sure that it's even my tires aren't touching which will be under inflated they'd be rubbing together on the bottom uh, and make sure that there's no trash or debris stuck up between them right talking about inflation on both my tires they appear to be properly inflated if I need to add air I've got a metal valve stem here check it make sure it's not bent broken or damaged and it should have a metal cap right still talking about my wheels this is an actual seal as opposed to a hub seal right mm -hmm. make sure it's not bent broken or damaged and it's not leaking it is bolted, so I'm going to check my bolts and my lug nuts. Make sure they're all there. They appear to be properly tight, and there's no um, shiny threads or rust trails under all the buds. Anything that would indicate that they're coming loose, right? That takes care of my tire wheel and brakes, right? So, if I come back here, I've already talked about my airbag and my shock absorber right my mud flaps properly mounted and secured the flaps themselves aren't ripped or torn and they do have the red white dot tape right they are the proper distance from the ground which is eight inches or less. correct correct so back here i've got three lights they're all properly mounted and secured not broken or damaged this white one is a reverse lights one function reverse my two red ones, tail lights, are four functions. Braking, four ways, turn signal, and running. Right? This bar that's up under my fifth wheel is a torque arm. Torque arm, torque bar, whichever you want to call it. Properly mounted, secured, not bent, broken, or damaged. Let's talk about my fifth wheel. <clears throat> Since I have to include uh, coupling with this, right? Looking at my apron, make sure it's properly mounted, secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. No excessive rust, like it's in good shape, right? There's no gap between my apron and my fifth wheel skid plate, right? You don't want to see any daylight or air between them. And your fifth wheel appears to be properly greased. Um, my fifth wheel is welded to my platform and this platform is properly bolted to the frame of my truck. I've got the same number of bolts on both sides, so I'm not missing any and they appear to be tight, right? Yeah. Back here, I can see that my jaws are closed around my kingpin, around the sink of my kingpin. And uh, my kingpin is not bent, broken or damaged. This is the only place that I can see it when the trailer's hooked up. Right? right that should be everything except for my airlines when i, just, I skipped right by do what you see you read oh thank you so i skipped right by these my airlines and my electrical line the blue one is service right on the inside, the red one is the emergency line. Make sure that they, neither one of them, have any abrasions, bulges, or cuts. <clears throat> My electrical line is in good shape. There's no exposed wires on it. And your glad hands, when they're hooked up, if you were to take them off, check the rubber seal on the inside. Make sure it's in good shape. It's not missing. And all of these have to be held up off the catwalk. It cannot be dragging it. That right there should be me. Y'all tell me if I missed anything. Thanks.